Welcome to video tutorials of Mikanis Miller. Recently I decided to make wooden gears for a project I am working on. Since my knowledge in woodworking is close to nothing, I decided to do a search which scroll saw is the best for the task. I was looking pros and cons for all those 16 inch scroll saws. I find out that there are two major driving mechanisms for a scroll saw. The driving mechanism that I am going to describe in here is called a parallel arm system. The other one that I am going to describe in my next video is called the parallel link system. The parallel arm system you see in this video is much simpler than the parallel link system, and uses fewer components to drive the saw blade. The disadvantage of this system is that, the saw blade move back and forth slightly when it is doing up and down stroke. This back and forth motion is insignificant due to having long arms. As you can see the parallel arm system consists of two pivoting arms, connected to each other via a saw blade and the back link. This configuration creates a parallelogram, and the driving mechanism is connected to the lower arm with a crank. The crank receives its motion from a variable speed electric motor. The saw is connected to the longer section of the arms to reduce back and forth motion of the blade. The link at the back counteracts the blade and used as blade tensioner in some models. To balance the crank there must be a counterweight which reduces the vibration. However due to up and down motion of the arms, the scroll saw creates some vibration. Therefore the scroll saw must also be sturdy enough to counteract against this vibration. Therefore the body and the cutting table of the scroll saw should be cast iron. I have not decided yet what model should I buy, but I think any model fit the criteria I mentioned above will do for me. I guess the task that I am going to perform is not that demanding. I appreciate your visit and encourage you to subscribe to my channel and rate this video.